Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Made for Love, and today we are looking at what's happening in this connection. We're going to look at your person's thoughts and feelings for you. What are they healing for themselves right now? What are they healing for their ancestry? Um, and what is currently shifting in this connection? In the extended, we are going to do the same. If there's a third party connected to um, your connection, we're going to look at their thoughts and feelings. Um, for that person, um, we're going to look at, we're going to get a message from Magic Calabash. So he wants to come through with a message. Um, we're going to look at your person's next move towards you, next move um, in the third party situation. Okay, so let us begin. Let's get some significators for your person. A significator for the energy generally and their energy towards you. This is the Iris Oracle. And we have the Rainbow Bridge, but it's a kind of leap of faith. Um, kind of vibes and a uh, vibes, you know, wanting to take some kind of risk, wanting to move out of your comfort zone, and trusting that spirit is going to bridge the gap, right? Trusting that you know you're going to be held, um, by by spirit. Spirit is going to be a safety net, um, in this. So, um, feels like someone who is trusting where they're guided, and it looks like they're being guided to. Take these steps in the dark and just trust that everything is going to be okay. You know? All right, let's see the energy generally. For some of them with that card underneath there, uh, for some of them, they may be coming out of some sort of of closet showing their real self to the world putting themselves out there yeah there's some kind of like coming out energy and being one's authentic self okay i can't even find it now so there could be that as well now right, let's see what this is we have the mysterious mother the mysterious mother is a high priestess okay um, I'm also feeling Queen of Pentacles vibes. Um, and then we see the star. So right now your person is trust in spirit. Trust in spirit completely. Um, and, you know, following that star to, to where they need to go. Okay. And it feels like wherever they need to go, it is it is the unknown. It is the unknown. And they're not using their mind to guide them. They're using their heart space, right? Their heart, mind. Um, and they're using their intuition. And as I said, it's literally steps in the dark. This is your person's energetic body here. And it's only darkness all around them. So it feels like as well, like they can't, re they feel like they can't rely on anyone that is around them at this time. Because they don't trust anybody that's around them at this time. Four can talk about four of pent four of uh four of wands, which is our foundations or family. And maybe they don't trust these people. So your person, they are just relying on themselves. Let's see the energy towards you. I will use the Amulet Friends Oracle. And underneath the deck, we have forgive. This came out in a reading last week as well. So what's on their mind is trying to get your forgiveness. Okay. 
um, for something that they did in the past. Okay. It looks like they were there playing the fool. Okay. They may have been playing you. They may have been playing someone else. And it feels like they, they want your forgiveness. We have nourish and it says nourish your soul. So you are the empress to them because the, the empress is a nurturer. Um, and everything about you touches this person on a soul level. I'm seeing this kooky kind of dolphin that is covering over you and there are two roses here. So I think this person thinks that this connection is a divinely guided one and a divinely protected one. I think they can no longer ignore some of the signs that they've been getting. I see the third, the, this person here, their third eye is very much activated as well. So they see this is a spiritual connection. When they, and even here, it is one body. Look at this weird animal. It's one body, but two heads, right? So they see you guys as very much the same. As in one soul that might be in two bodies, right? But you all are always um, connected. That's what they see here. This person loves listening to you. Because I see this little creature here by the ear. They love listening to you. They love talking to you. Everything you say makes this person feel loved and accepted. For some of them, they have body image issues. They've never really felt quite accepted um, by their tribe, by the people around them. And that's why they've always felt that they had to put on um, this mask here. But you, with you, they feel like they don't have to hide. And everything you say and the energy that they feel when they are around you, like penetrates deep into the energetic field. I see six hearts here. Okay, three on this side and three on this side. So it feels like the six of cups. So what they're thinking about is reconciliation with you. And what, they think, what they're thinking about is, you know, giving back equally um, to you. I think this person has been doing a lot of reflection. And they've seen the many different ways that you have nourished their soul. The different ways that you have held them, especially spiritually, whether it's by praying for them, sending them energy. You know, you've always wanted what's best for them, even when you're pissed off with them, right? They feel that. They know this. And there's nobody else that makes them feel quite as accepted um, as you. You make them feel normal. And this person has never really felt normal. When this person thinks about you and this connection, where is their mind at? What are they thinking? How are they processing this mentally? We have the three of cups, happiness overflowing, but there definitely might be somebody else here. And it feels like you all are, all three of you guys um, are connected, right? And then we see this lotus flower here that's blooming as three of you guys nourish this flower. So it feels like whatever is a triangulation that is going on here, whether it's with they might have an intimate partner or they might have a, a very involved family member or boss or whatever, or this third person up, up represents a collective of people. It feels like everybody's supposed to transform and change through the interactions that you that you guys will have um, amongst each other. All right. What are they thinking about you and this connection at this time? We have temperance in reverse. So they're feeling like totally caught off guard and off balance. They're not sure um, what's going on. We have the magician. 
So two major arcana. That's mastering the self, manifesting new beginnings. We have the Hierophant in reverse. And this is a departure from dogma. It can also mean breaking away from the way of your tribe, your people, your family. But it can also talk about a divorce or a breakup or something like that. And then we have the star card in reverse. So first thing that I'm getting, your person right now, they are absolutely buttered. I'm not sure why, right? I'm not sure why. It could be that you guys may be apart at this time or you guys aren't talking or you guys may have had a falling out recently. But they are really, really hurt and they're feeling this um, in their core. And, you know, whatever happened between you guys, they have... It sent them into a tailspin because I couldn't... I couldn't bring the word and then I saw somebody like tumbling over and falling down a cliff. Like it sent them into a total tailspin and spiral, right? Um, they are not sure if they're up or down right now, okay? It's like everything within them has been stirred up. And this is purposeful and this is part of destiny. This is part of what's supposed to happen, right? Because... Through this stirring up, right, stirring up of their repressed emotions, their repressed memories, their repressed trauma, this is how they master the self, by actually dealing with shit and not suppressing. It looks like with this kind of stirring up, in particular, they're looking at their belief system and they're looking at the belief system of their family. And it feels like their newfound belief system, because I'm feeling like a newfound belief system that's constantly growing, because Spirit is showing me like something that's constantly growing, right? The new belief system that they have, it looks like it's taken a marked departure from what they were taught as a child and what they may have well believed into adulthood. I don't think you're dealing with someone who is naturally introspective. You know, there's some people like that. They can roll all through life and not reflect on the things that have happened to them. For example, if they if they have a breakup, they will just on to the next. Within weeks, they're with somebody else. Okay? Or if there's been some kind of death in the family, you see them, that's their party and whatever it is, and they will never even acknowledge that it has happened, right? Parents get divorced, whatever it is. Life, for them, life moves on. Life goes on, right? They never stop to think, reflect, and acknowledge what is happening to them. They just put on the happy face and they just move on. But whatever happened between you guys, the happy face didn't work. And now they have to actually deal not only with the emotions that are coming up with regard to your connection, but all the emotions that they had um, on their little shit shelf that they did not want to deal with. So it's just an avalanche of emotions that they are facing right now. And I don't know if you've watched it already, but you should, even though it's supposed to be a children's show. Um, Inside Out 2, where, you know... They were just basically repressing all the bad memories, putting them to the back of the mind, not processing it. And then finally when it was integrated, which is an avalanche of things. But in the end, it made a stronger individual. This is exactly what is happening with your person right now. It is the integration of their full self and recognizing who they are. They are finally stepping into the real them, their real identity. And not this identity that was curated by their family right so with regard to you they're very hurt but they are recognizing that this time that they have processing their emotions it is making them move into a stronger version of themselves and they see you as the catalyst that has done that 
they're also seen as well that they really hurt you and they hurt you with them being non-committal in this relationship and inconsistent in this relationship right they saying they weren't there for you well certainly not like how you were there for them right and i think that's why we got that forgiveness card at the bottom of the deck let's see their heart space energy for you at this time we have self-sabotaging so you know that might be something else that they're realizing that you know they may have told that they were sabotaging this connection but really they just screw themselves over i feel as well this person has a lot of insecurities that work over time all right we have obsessed all right so Talk about the imagination working over time. We have that. They are obsessed with you. Obsessed with knowing what you're doing. <clears throat> Feeling like they can't exist without your energy. We have shy. But I'm feel like the energy of embarrassment um, with this. Especially when we talk about, you know, them recognizing how much they hurt you. It could be that they're acknowledging their feelings as well. And these tender emotions like. Because they show me somebody with, you know, like, a really girlish or boyish kind of smile. You know, that innocent kind of love. That's what I, I, I feel there. And we have guilty, right? We have guilty. So I feel this shy. I feel this is embarrassed. I really do. And it is for their past behavior. And the way they may have strung your law and the way they may have, like, outright deceived you. Just tell you a whole bunch of shit. And then we have anxious avoidant. They know that if they want a chance with you, they have to face you and they have to speak the truth. But they are so besieged with anxiety over that and what could be the possible outcome that right now they might just be quite, quite frankly, they might be running away. They might be running away. All right, let's see this obsessed card. We have the nine of cups. Yeah, right. Now that, this, now that they know who they are, they are seeing who you are, right? And they think that you, you're so right for them, that you fit them so perfectly, that you are their perfect match. We see here nine of cups. They're looking at you in a whole different light. Look at that smile of admiration there. They are feeling shy. We have Eight of Cups. It certainly could be because you have walked away or they may have walked away from you um, and the connection in the past. We have them feeling guilty. Yeah, because there's a lot of things they haven't told you as well. There's still some secrets here um, that they're kind of biting their nails over telling you. Okay, because you feel you know everything, but you don't know everything about this person. So right now, they rather just stay away because they know if they come forward, they have to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And they're not sure if they're ready for that and they're not sure they're ready for the aftermath because they don't know how you're going to respond. Now, we have anxious avoidant here. Okay, five of pentacles in reverse because they have a serious fear of abandonment. So they rather avoid this conversation completely, okay, because their mind is running over time. Their imagination is running over time. And their imagination is telling them <clears throat> the minute that they fess up to everything that they did in the course of this connection, you are not going to accept them. You are going to abandon them. So they might, they rather abandon you before you abandon them. What are they healing right now for themselves? Let me get um I love this deck so much. I 
leave that out just in case I have to read anything. What are they healing for themselves at this time? We have empowerment. Okay, so that energy of being powerless and putting their destiny into somebody else's hand and this kind of, you know, um, blowing here and there and being fickle, um, they're taking back their power away from that. What are they healing for themselves right now? We have the initiation. Okay. And it's a card number 63, which reduces the nine. So they're actually healing their relationship with themselves. Do not take how they treated you personally. How they treated you is a reflection of how they see themselves and their value. They didn't even know how to treat themselves properly. This is not someone who treats their body well, their mind well. They may engage in a lot of risky behaviors. They might be, you know, overworking themselves, running themselves to the bone because they don't take care of themselves and they don't know how to take care of other people. If they're in another relationship, you might be on the outside looking in and say, oh my God, look how much attention they give to that other person or look how well they treat that other person. But trust me, from the inside of that relationship, they're doing the same bullshit. And it's because they don't know how to nurture. So this is what they're healing. So right now, they are taking care of their body, their mind, and their spirit. Their focus is on themselves. Ooh, I just went to ask, so what are they healing for? Their ancestry. One second, guys. That thing went so far. I'd love to see what this card is. What the hell? It just doesn't want to get off the ground. Okay. We have the shadow. And it's a card, number 42, which reduces six. And six is the lovers. So what I feel is in this person's family, their ancestry, they got an interesting story where it comes to love. Love for them is transactional. Love for them might be weakness. Love will hurt you. Love will devour you. Love will consume you. Love might be obsessive. Love might be possessive. Love might haunt you. Love will destroy you. They have all these negative attachments or associations. That's the word. Associations um, with love. Now, six is also about the lovers. There may also be a pattern in their ancestry of keeping different people and third party in the shadows, right? So if you look at their parents, one or maybe even both of the parents may have had somebody else, a side woman, a side man, a side there, whatever it is, right? And you'll see that all through their ancestry, right? So they have an issue with commitment. And this is something that they are healing for their ancestry. So they are meant to rise above this and do something different than the template they came into earth with and something different than what they observed and what was modeled to them. They have to do something different than what is encoded in their DNA when it comes to love. They are meant to break that cycle. What is shifting in this connection? 
What is shifting or changing? And oh, what is this? Both of you guys moving out of denial. So at some point, both of you guys were residing in Dululu land, right? You're in some sort of illusion about each other, about this relationship, maybe even trying to deny some of the um, aspects of this person's uh, personality, persona. I may have only seen them in rose-tinted glasses. You refuse to see the whole person, red flags waving. And instead of you taking it as a red flag, you're seeing green flags, you know, that kind of thing. You guys are no longer in denial about the toxic aspects of each other, the toxic aspects of yourself, and the toxic aspects of your relationship. You guys are seeing what does not work. And you guys are actively changing that. Whether you're doing to work on yourself or you are establishing and maintaining boundaries in this relationship. Because something here was dysfunctional. And you guys are coming out of denial with regard to that. This is what is shifting. You all are seeing the reality of who you guys are right now. And what needs to change in your relationship so that this connection can be a healthy one. All right. So if this feels like you and your person, you can join me in the extended. And we will look at the third party connection. What they're thinking and feeling about that person. We're going to go into Magic Calabash and see who wants to bring a message about your connection. Um, what you need to know, we're going to look at your person's next actions with regard to the third party. And then we're going to look at your person's next actions with regard to you. But if you can't join me in the extended, this is Spirit's advice as to what is to be your next move um, in this connection on this healing journey. All right, we have Galactic Healer. So move forward with an open mind. All right, and it's a card number 17. 17 is about healing. Um, 17 is about destiny. And 17 reduced to 8, which is about stepping into your power, right? So Spirit is saying, you are receiving messages, right, from your ancestors, from Spirit, from Source Energy. You know exactly what you need to do in this situation. You already need to do. What you need to do is find the courage to move forward with an open mind as with regard to how this relationship is meant to ground in the 3D. Who you're meant to be with. Maybe you're not meant to be with this person. Who knows? Who knows? Right? But Spirit saying, be open to the possibilities. We have secret temptation. And it says being led astray. Alright, so this feels like the devil card. It's a card number 31. Let's see what this is all about. It says temptations can be everywhere, dependent upon your vices. And unfortunately, there will always be a temptation to the human psyche. We can learn from these vices as they teach us about our emotional triggers prior to our actions. Self-mastery is the key. So your dysfunctional behavior with this person or codependent behavior with this person and the things that you may have done so that this person wouldn't abandon you or leave you behind can tell you a lot about your emotional triggers and your trauma. It says risk taken should be avoided now with careful consideration of any planned events, career changes or major decisions. A lack of willpower may influence your impulsives. Be strict with your budget as financial blowouts are significant now. Right now, the truth is yet to be revealed. We saw that. We saw that. We saw the moon. Be cautious in lending any goods you wish to have returned as deception is around every corner. Be mindful of any agreements or contracts at this time and seek professional advice where appropriate. 
if you are in the rela- in a relationship, you may feel that there's a risk of a third party influence. Addictions such as gram as gambling, drugs, sex, alcoholism, and even food are indicated through this card. Being tempted by devilish behavior is leading you down a bad path. This health card encourage you, encourages you to regain control of your life, building willpower and determination using a step-by-step approach for support and encouragement. So for some of you, there may be threats to your health that you have control over. And Spur is saying you have to take control of that right now. If you are experiencing challenges with your personal habits at the moment, now is the time to develop structured and systemic coping strategies that you can lean on when you are tempted to be led astray. However, you are a conscious creator, so be accountable for your past and current choices and seek to change them in the present and in the future. So, you know, sometimes it's tempting for us to demonize the other person and say, you know, it was all their fault. But when we look objectively at a situation, truly, 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 it always takes two. Even when we encounter someone who may be, like, clinically diagnosed as a narcissist, there's a part that we play in there too because it is all poor boundaries that allow this person access to our energy because we see the red flags. We see it. But when we have trauma, our red flags look like green flags, right? So there's always a part that we play in a toxic situation. That doesn't mean that you deserve to be hurt or abused or anything like that. I'm not saying anything like that. But I am saying there's a lesson to be learned. And if we look back and extract those lessons, nobody can play any kind of games with us in the future. Because we will see them coming from a mile away. And sometimes we do. The only time we really get hurt is when we don't listen to our intuition. And we're not talking about criminal acts, okay? We're not talking about criminal acts. We're just talking about, you know, normal, intimate relationships. Because we always know. But we ignore our intuition. We go against our God. But that's what trauma does to us. You know, we don't trust ourselves enough. I'm love, so that was your reading. I hope that was helpful. Take care.